Tell me more about Lady Chestershire. I should like to join Sigurd soon. He traveled to a town called Repton, to meet Uba and Eva Ragnarsson. As I hear it, they are on the verge of exiling the current King of Mercia, with the hope of installing a king of their own. A bold endeavor. I should be there to help, however I can. I think you should. I won't keep them waiting. Good. I will send word to Sigurd and the Ragnarsons, pledging your assistance. If I were you, I would go by ship. Repton is quite a distance north on the River Trent. Repton. Sigurd should be here with the Ragnarsons. Are you Sigurd Drenger? Uh, Igor! Eivor! If you keep that up, we'll stay in the floors. The place could use some color. <laughs> Who are they? All spies. Dressed to look the part of a peasant. Got feisty. Pitchfork. From this rabid little one. Was a time when you met and slew your enemy on the field before they could dream of things like sending spies! <laughs> now we shake hands and make deals. Not my thing. I figured. I love them whipped, weeping, and reeking of piss. Hey! Good boy. You're free, Saxon piggy, to run amok to the Mercian fields. <laughs> I would have let him down easy. Hmm. Follow me. I'll give you the tour. What do you call this place? I call it the shithole. To the Mercians, it is Repton. Their most revered kings are buried below the church. Imagine they're weeping when we drove them out. You planted your knife deep into the heart of this kingdom. That is right. We've got a number of Saxon nobles lined up with their lips puckered, ready to kiss our asses. The only holdout is King Burgred and his war thane, Leofrid. But my brother is brewing a plan to deal with them. I take it that's where we'll find my brother. Right. Talkers they are, Uba and Sigurd. Might want to dig the wax from your ears. Don't play me for a fool, Abba. I know Bergrid's. I'm not going anywhere, Bakrat. You have the king on his heels because of me. Because of my men. For which you were paid. But that price does not change because you have caught a whiff of our Hexilver horde. You forget I am a sellsword. I ask what I please, and I take what I'm owed. If I wanted to hear you talk shit, I'd gouge out your tongue and shove it up your ass. 
Now fuck off. Haggling over silver is a bad look for the son of Ragnar Lodbrok. But worry not, Upa. I have the warriors you need. This is one of them. My worries have vanished. Eivor, wolf kissed. You have come at just the right time. Upa and Ivar here are hunting a king. And when we've caught him, we mean to crown another. Our dear Thane Chelwolf here. It's not a role I begged for, but it's what Mercia needs just now. A man to fairly rule both Saxons and Danes. Do you have what it takes to be king? One day, I hope. As it stands, we at least have an understanding. The king has refused our offers of peace. Jailwolf means to change that. There'll be a new king for a new England. For now, Burgred is holed up in his fortress at Tamworth, making a final stand. Another shithole, only further south. We've held a siege there for weeks to no effect. So, no more knocking. Now we batter the gate to splinters. If we take Tamworth, remove Burgred and crown Chelwolf, come morning this Shire is ours. And Mercia soon after. Yes. Remove. I cannot stress that enough. Burgred is not to be harmed. My legitimacy as king hangs on this one simple fact. Uh, you rob all the joy from war, Saxon. Not every victory needs to be marked by the slaughter of a king. Ah, but it is much better. His request is fair, Ivar, and we will honor it. Chairwolf betrayed his present king. Maybe tomorrow he betrays us too. Why trust him? How can I answer that with any hope that you'd believe me? I only want what is best. ...for the people of Mercia. And I want what's best for my son. In Burgred's Mercia, where Danes and Saxons murder one another daily... ...it's not possible. This is a good plan, brother. I'm ready for the coming fight. Agreed. Yet remember this. Whatever you stand to gain here, so do we. An alliance between my clan and Mercia's crown. See this man installed on his throne and you will have it. I swear. The bold sons of Ragnar bellow to sound the spear din and the thunder of shields. So let fall the arrow storm. The battle begins. Ah! You never said this one was a poet. I need to piss. We have a forward camp just north of Tamworth. Will you go with us? Lead the way. Take in the sights of Repton if you like. We will be at the docks when you are ready to go. I'm glad you and your brother have come, if only to bring some measure of calm. Ease yourself, Cheerwolf. We all stand to benefit, and you'll be remembered for this for years to come. For all the wrong reasons, I fear. to the gates of Tamworth, will flood the fields, and Burgred shall weep at the sight of what the future holds for this kingdom. Eivor, is your axe sharpened? I'm ready for the spear din. And the thunder of shields, yes. It's good to have you with us. To fight beside such legends is an honor. I've only heard tales of your conquests. Now I get to live them. We'll weave our sagas together. Thread upon thread. Come on, boy. We'll forge a man from your softness, hammered on the anvil of war. does not need to fight to be move. a... Move! Move! Calm, Ivar. The fight's not here. Aye. The fight is nowhere to be found in this boy. A boy who happens to be Chilwolf's son. Why is he not in his quarters? Our future king wants a battle-hardened heir. Time he proves his worth, don't you think? 
Not yet crowned king and already grooming his successor. That shows some boldness. Right. And bold kings need bolder sons. Ivar! He comes with us. And should anything happen to this little sprout, I will bear the punishment our future king inflicts. He'll want to remove your head. Haha, <laughs> you hear that, boy? You die, and I'll have to kill your father, too. Mount up, Eivor. It's a long ride to Tamworth. You'll have to endure, my brother. They always find a way to cure themselves. I'll keep that in mind. Hey! And both eyes are torn. You smell that, Chailbert? The stink of jealousy of our budding friendship, I think. Look at these pagan rats. Ravenous, unseemly beasts teeming over holy ground. Have a care, Lord. These pagan rats outnumber us. I can see that, fool. What do we do about them? I advise we strongly consider their demands, Lord. We won't survive a fight. Is that you, Leofric? How quickly you recover! I'm beginning to wonder if it is a man or a god beneath all that armor. A man of God stands before you, Eva. Proud and resolute. That's Burgred's war thing. Killed a dozen of our men in an ambush along the River Trent. It was Ivar's ex that stopped him. That is a poor description of a perfect 30-yard toss. Enough jawing, heathens! Speak your peace! We've come for your crown, Lord. With or without your head attached. Ha, I admire your ambition, pagan. But what you ask is impossible. No Dane ever has, or ever will, occupy Mercia's sacred throne. Not to worry. We have a Mercian of our own. Jail wolf, you mean? Ha! <laughs> when I'm done with you lot, I'll execute that foolish Thane for treason! My king, may I suggest a more measured approach to this? I grow weary of this palaver! You have trampled our lands, toppled our monuments. We've given you silver, fed your people. And yet in spite of all this, your encroachment on my kingdom continues. No more! We will die defending what is ours, whatsoever the cost. If you want my crown, Uber Ragnarsson, you must pry it from the hands of my bloodless corpse. Man the walls! Back to the camp. Round up the men. We're taking Tamworth tonight! Eivor, tell the captain we're ready to march. Eivor and I will round up the men. You know your way around a batsman ramp. I've seen them in action. I want you at the helm of ours. Strong and agile. I'll be there. As will I. How about a round of dice? Eivor. First one to board red gets to string him up by his dangly man wattle. Then jab him in his fat head. Let's get through these walls first, Eivor. and surrender.
Take three men and search the rear. Look around. See what you can find. I'll send for Chael Wolf. Tell him we found a throne. Ah, that was a good scuffle, hmm? But I did notice we were short one Athelink. Where was the son of our king? Jailbird was around. Maybe you missed him. Your eyes are just like you, Eivor. Big and bold. Eivor, I found a letter. There's a symbol here. Your men have any luck? Nothing. You? This. Do you know that symbol? Tona Sigil. It seems she's been dealing with Burgred as well. The wretch. She was the mercenary barking at you in Repton, yes? She's playing both sides of this war. She could have told him anything. Sold him secrets. About me, about Repton, our plans. Why bother with all this pageantry? Fashion a new crown and stick it on your melon. There you have it, you're the new king. That is not how it works. Not in Mercia. We are wasting time. Tana is our only lead. We talk to her. Find out what she knows. I would sooner launch my face into my axe than face her. That might improve her impression of you. We have the same father, Eivor. But his mother was a sow. Meet us at Tona's camp when you're finished here. And bring your patience. And your axe! Eivor, a word, if you would. Not going to end well. Just keep your wits about you. Calm, Ivar. Me and Aver will take care of this. I know. A small fortune for whoever sent Tona to hell. I'll hold you to that. Sigurd's told us the news. Well done. Letter Chester and Templebroth fought. What do you know about them? Hmm. Letter Chester is a large village. And Templebroch, it's an old military fort. Not much else. Burkred could be at either one. We should check both. As soon as possible. And what do we do with Tona? I would bet the sweat off my sack she's writing to Burkred now, offering silver for a warning about us. Let me worry about that. We should get moving, Drinkit. I can take the fortress of Templebroch. I will join you, Sigurd. That leaves me led the Chester, then. All by my fucking lonesome. Bring a friend, brother. Maybe Eivor dares to be called that. Go on ahead. I'll catch up with all of you soon. Good timing. We would have stormed the place without you. What have you seen? Soldiers aplenty. Wagons going in and out. That weasel Borgred is here. I'm sure of it. Bathhouse there, and that church, see? I sent a scout to check them both. Should be back at any moment now. Did you see Uba and Sigurd in Templebroch? No. And if Burkrid is hiding here, I won't have to. There is a lot we would not have to do if we stuck to killing kings. Thanks to my brother, now we are into making them. No small tension between you two. Thought you'd be more like-minded. You and Sigurd. You always see eye to eye? More often than not. You are still young. You live to my age and you will see. The closer you get, the greater the stink that rises. Time's up for your scout, I'd say. He's either dead or run off. Give him a chance. Can't risk them seeing us and Burkrit slipping away again. You stay here and wait for your scout. I'm going in. Get out! We have them! They're everywhere! Uh, 
stay close to me. What? What do I do? Fight, man. Fight. Are you hurt? Speak up. I... I don't think so. My God. I didn't want it to come to this. They would have killed you, Chilbert. You had no choice. Now don't move. I'll be back. Where is your king, Saxon? Where is he? Lord our Father, grant me salvation. <laughs> When does their god find the time to answer so much mumbling and whimpering? You are reckless, Ivar. Jailbird could have been killed. Who am I to stand in the light of a boy searching for his balls? Don't excuse yourself. You enjoy this too much. Stop. It wasn't Ivar who sent me. I sent myself. Have caution, boy. Until your father is crowned, you are Mercia's enemy, not its champion. You understand? I understand. Good. Now return to Repton and remain there until we call. Will you not stay, Wolfkist? There is no king, but we have corpses to loot. Burkrit's Lady Athelswith is in Templebroth. I'm going to find out what she knows. Pile the soldiers here. Let these people bear witness to the carnage that awaits their kingdom. These Mercian soldiers should be relieved of their duty, I think. You have exhausted my friend Uber here, but I'm wide awake. Maybe tell me where Burkrit is hiding and let him rest happy. Never. Stone-faced and tight-lipped, all for a king who hides like a cowardly vole, too scared to protect his family and his people. Thirsty? My husband does what he must for Mercia. How could he do otherwise, knowing that even his closest friends could betray him? Give that traitor Cheowulf my message. He may win this earthly battle, but the devil has won the war for his soul. I don't care how you feel about Cheowulf, but he will be king. It's only a matter of when. Borgred is king. Elected by the Witten and anointed by God. My lady, I know what the losing side looks like, and you're on it. We've taken Repton, Tamworth, now Tamblebroth, and Letterchester. With each victory, your hope for peace recedes. Yet Borgred has what you do not. The loyalty of his people. Good men. Faithful men. Who? The Thanes and Chills of Mercia? No, no. Only Leofrid remains loyal, and he too will fall. Yes, goodly Leofrith. He will die defending his king. And win or lose, he will send a hundred more of you to hell. Eivor, your ladyship, do not mind me. Only here to count my spoils. Oh, God! Out, Eivor, now. All right, all right. But, if you mean to stay, mind the smell after they finish this. My... my god! Get me out of here! Please! How many more times will I have to curtail your spectacles, Ivar? Spectacle? That's just me. Enough of that, you squeaking sparrow. <laughs> Let my brother be the lunatic of Tamworth. Zalitz? Who does he mean? Ignore him. Desperate pleas and prophecies. Nothing more. Walk with me, Wolfkist. We have some time before the ceremony. 
Where to? Nowhere in particular. I only want to celebrate. Didn't think you were the type. You have drawn a dark conclusion about me, haven't you? That is all well and good. I've drawn some about you as well. Are you leading a lamb to slaughter? See what I mean? Dark. Too dark. You there! Get lost! Sit down. I know I have been a cock. But you are a good fighter. I respect that. Let it be said that Ivar the Boneless considers Eivor a friend. Who calls you Boneless? Some backrout I killed in Hibernia. Used his guts to shine my spear. Called me boneless because I move like a reed in the wind. Not because you're always too drunk to plow? Valhalla. That is where I am bound. I can smell the blood and taste the mead. I will sit beside the High One with my axe in hand. A fitting end for Arachnason. You would think, eh? Me, Hafton, we will be there. But Uba... No. I do not think we are chasing the same victory. Not anymore. What does Uba want? To grow old and fat on the farm somewhere with little Ubas to chase about. He wants an heir. It's a common dream. Not for a warrior. Not for Drengir like us. He was different before. But this place, England... It softened him. What was he like before? Like me. Ferocious. Wild. With respect, I don't think anyone is like you. If that is a compliment, I missed it. All I mean to say is, things were easier some time ago. If it bothers you so much, why not strike out on your own? Because he is my brother. I love him. And I will do what it takes to drag him back around to my way of thinking. We are warriors, all. And that is to the death. You sought me out, old friend. And here I am, standing before the throne from which I reigned not long ago. You stand before us to accept this Witten's unanimous decision. That you are unfit to rule, and are hereby deposed. We demand the abdication of your kingdom and your crown to Thane Chairwolf. Mercia has spoken, Lord. The crown. Is that you, old friend? Ah, yes, I see it now. <laughs> Forgive me. The robes of righteousness sit so loosely upon your shoulders. If the heavens mismark me as king, forgive its obscuring light. Amen. Now, where is my crown? Forgive my nerves. 
Here I am, an upright man who never once learned how to bend the knee. And yet, I shall try. Ah, how simple it is. How easy to kneel without fear and feeling. He's mocking you, man. I'd kill the fucker. Worry not, Dane. I shall resign this crown and this pagan-infested kingdom and the favors of these two-faced men. But I will do so on my terms. My demands are simple. Firstly, you must... Uh. You fool. Look around you. You have no leverage here. Plead for your life. For it is the only thing these men will grant you. Yes. Yes. Forgive me, I... I do not harm me. I beg of you. Please. I'll go anywhere. Here. I, 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 I resign it. Here. Take this lord and his wife to Rome. He is hereby exiled. Never to return. The Witten recognizes King Chairwolf of Mercia, second of his name. A just king. A merciful king. God save the king! You better be worth all this trouble. Mercian soldiers marching on Repton! Leofrid. Loyal to the ugly and the bastard. Gather what men you have and split them between the north and south gates. That should divide his forces. Cheobert is there. Eivor, you must save my son. He will come through this, I promise. I will stay here with Cheowulf. Go. and battle-worn. Could be chieftain of your own clan with courage like that. No less than the King of Mercia, brother. One of these days. And how is my father taking to his new role? See for yourself. Thank you, Sigurd. This puts my mind at ease. Be ready for my call, Eivor. It will come. You and Sigurd make a good pair. The future of England will be pagan from top to bottom. Take this, Wolfkist, as a sign of friendship. And should you call, the brothers Ragnarsson will come. You honor me, Uba. See that? Sly bastard trying to win your heart. Well, two can play at that game. How kind of you, Ivar. My pleasure. Our friendship is the best thing to come from this mess. Maybe Chelbert too. A brave little twig. That is good to hear. Come on, boy. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't stop a lamb. <laughs> Not half bad, boy. But be fierce. Dirty. Strike at my boss. Ivar, are you training the boy or tormenting him? One will lead to the other in time. Eivor, well met. You received my message, and just in time. Our negotiations with the Britons have not yet begun. I will be at your side when they do. Is there anything I should know first? The venerable King Rodri is here. I am to deal with him directly. Rodri is desperate for peace. Ever since we captured his sniveling brother, Goriad. Sounds like a man coughing up snot. Goriad ap Mervin. Rodri waits at the church nearby. Who speaks for Shurupshire in these talks? The last elderman was killed in battle. Bishop Dealov is standing in. Until we get this wet whelp installed. That is his father's wish. 
I find the idea of leading a Shire on my own quite... quite terrifying. Don't fret until you have taken up the Elderman's title. Too many things can go wrong between now and then. My father thinks me fit already. I shouldn't want to disappoint him. As future Elderman, you should speak in the talks as well. But with humility. Rodri is the king, and will expect to be treated as one. Rodri will want us to get down on our knees and sniff the rosy wind blowing from his ass. I know the man. You've met him? Met him, fought him. He gave me this nick here. Maybe I can give him one back. Remind him some call me king killer. It may be you should stay behind, Ibar. That is not a recipe for a good parley. I'd like you both to be there. To guide me, to judge my fitness. Give us your word, then. Your blade stays in its sheath. Eifor, don't make me laugh. We both know what my word is worth. But sure, I will let you do the talking. Probably. Excellent. Now, to the church, I think. Our guests await. It's not far, just across the village. We've been at war with the Britons for coming on two years. The Britons had the best of it. Tell me and my berserkers plowed through their ranks and chased Rodri's brother into a ditch. That's why Rodri's talking peace now. It's thanks to Eva. I am going to enjoy seeing him squeal, the old oak. Not nearly as much as taking him down, though. That would seal my legacy. Your legacy? As king killer. They do not all get away like Borgred did, Wolfkist. Keep the peace, Ivar. What has become of your preening brother? Oh, my brother. We parted. His road is unsure. You are better off leaving that sauntering pole in your wake. Our Bishop Dealov and King Rodri are ensconced in the church ahead. These houses of Christ. They are all so hard and cold. Yet within his warmth, the Christian God unites King Rodri, Bishop Dealov, and myself. On his ground, peace will be made. Captain Anil, explain to the good bishop our position. Yes, my sovereign. Bishop Dealov. We are deaf to offers of peace until Guriad is returned to us. The king's brother The is... king's brother is a moldering sack of cow dung. You. I know your face, your stench. Ivar, the one they call boneless. Did I not gift you that scar myself? Ah, you did. And I mean to gift you a gash, you reeking piss pot in your fat fucking skull. Hold! Both of you. Now is not the time for keeping grudges. We are here to smooth the path to peace. Peace, peace, peace. Not with this bag of Britain sloth. On that, we are agreed. Now, now, calm everyone. Good faith is all I ask. You know my demands. Until my brother Gwiriad walks free, Peace between us is impossible. He is lucky he can walk at all. Fell on his own blade, fleeing from us. I will soon help you fall on yours. Husband, keep your head. It is in our interest to find a way to peace, all of us. First, my brother. First, your head on a pike. Then the runt goes free. Husband, no! Enough! This is a house of God. Let us take some few minutes to gather ourselves, shall we? Eivor, to me. I do not know you well, but Chelbert believes you a steady head. We need such a one. It may be too late. I see the crows of war gathering. I have a hefty sum of silver. Speak to the people here. If the silver will help one bring us toward peace, offer it to them. Talk, talk, talk. All we do is talk. 
These talks are stalled. I fear the upshot. Do not fret. You will be older than yet. We should settle this with blood, not pretty words. No! Enough of this nonsense! Take the silver. Depose your brother, and you will rule with our support. His blood will gush at my first opportunity. I've spoken with everyone who matters. I should report what I know to Bishop Deola. Ivar! Lock the doors, murder that sweating pig, and have done with it. If I could find you silver, would that quell your bitterness while we seek peace? Peace? Is that what you think is going to happen here? I told you, I know this bastard. Will silver quiet you? It may, it may not. I would have to see the silver in my hands to know for sure. If there is any silver to be had, I will think about it. You do that. Now you dangle silver before me. Are you so frightened of the Britons that you fight your battles with wealth? Ivor, back again, eh? Brought any treasure with you? I will see that it is well spent. If there is any silver to be had, I will think about it. You do that. Eivor, my friend. I asked around, as you suggested. Have you come to a decision? To whom have you given this silver? Rodri's brother will use the silver to take the crown himself, by force. He promised rebellion. Are you sure this was wise? Rodri, I see you mocking me! I challenge you! Single Ivar, combat, no. now! Boneless Ivar. Spineless, toothless, gutless. You cannot kill me! A dragon will be my death, as my seers have foretold. And your brother? Does your destiny guard him? Guriad! <laughs> God Almighty, I'll... Get him to safety! Go! Quickly! Kill the boneless one! Paint this chapel with his blood! Just Hold give up, up already! Leave the silver now! Viva! What have you done?! It's Vikinger diplomacy! Show the fuckers who the real warriors are. Ah. Eva, you have scuppered the peace. Do not be fooled by peace, boy. It is just an empty voice between axe blows. Dear Lord, this is a massacre. We have no choice now but to fight our way out of this. Ah, a good test for you, boy. Lord, forgive us. Stay close, Chelbert. You watch my back and I will pull the knives from yours. Dear Lord. Stay here, where it's safest, Bishop. Help me with this fucking door! Britain coward! I am Ivar! King killer! For Mercia! Let Bishop Dale up know that the battle is done. You murdered Rodri's brother, you beast! Our one chance at peace is lost. Peace with Rodri is as likely as you dying a virgin, Bishop. It won't happen. He is too canny, too vile. What's done is done. We must plan our next moves before the Britons regroup. They will retreat to their great castle for certain. It's well nigh impregnable. Then we starve them out. Attack their supplies. Watch them beg for death. Dear God. More death, more war, endless refugees. 
This is our only way forward, dear love. You know the territory best. How can we hurt them? Well, for food and supplies, they stockpile cargo at Wenlakan outpost, down south of Quatford. Rodri has another secret supply line. Ask among the refugees near the river, those who have fled from occupied villages. Rodri's Britons will strike back long before we can. Indeed. They will send Anir and his soldiers. They train in Wesbury, west of the ruined tower. You do not need me to hold your hand, Eivor. I will head to Wesbury, scout around. I know your method of scouting. It always leads to swordplay. I am as regular as Tidewater. I shall go with you, if only to get an honest accounting of our situation. I will meet you both at Westbury, then, once I've done some damage. Until then... One last thing. We'll need a field before our battle's done. Try to free any captives you find. They'll swell our ranks. Tail bound too. Eivor, Tailbelt. Hey, Eivor. I was telling the Aetherlink here that Thor is with us this day. Our victory is assured. So, what is your plan? That bastard Anir commands this hamlet. So let us show these folks what happens when a village bows to the Britons. Smash it to kindling, burn it to ashes, and cut Anir's tender throat. Right, my boy? I hope to fight well, not cruelly. The cutting of throats I leave to you. Flames and smoke will warm Rodri's desire for peace. Anir is a lesser concern. Peace is for suckling babes, but as you like. Oh, my blood runs hot. Let us rush in now and leave a trail of bloody kindling. A stealthy approach might earn us more time. Ah, I prefer sound and fury. But do as you must. I want to go in quietly. No point bringing every armed Briton down on our heads. Am I to stand here drooling like a village idiot waiting for your success? Chelbert. Listen to this old man's stories and wipe his drool for him. I am not a patient man, Eivor. Put these dogs down quietly, or I may just join you the way I did in Lerichester. We will stay behind and draw runes in the dirt. But do not take long. My blood is up. Eivor! Are you not done? Have you stopped to nap? Enough! I will have blood! Evar! God, Evar. You are a rabbit hound. You can't win this. Quickly! Light it up and burn it down! Burn it all down! Smoke! Someone set that fire! Find them! View of our handiwork, Jailbert. Join us, Eivor! <gasps> Eivor! Did you see Jailbert fight? 
He is all balls now! I give thanks for victory, and ask penance for taking lives. Ah, oh, Jailbird, your god bores me to death! Have a laugh! We won! And I took no pleasure in it, Ivar. Eivor and I were made for this, my boy. The song of swords, the blood mist, the bone crunch and baring of teeth! Is this enough blood paid, Ivar? We've spilled enough to slake the thirst of Fenny. Why stop there? Jailbed, I would know your mind on all this. Are you satisfied with our victory? I... I believe I am. I'll need word from Rodri as soon as possible. What does he intend? He will see the flames. He will know Esbury has been destroyed. The bleeding pus pit claims only a dragon can defeat him. We will soon put that to the test. It is peace we want, Ivar, not revenge. If you cannot accept that, return to Repton now. You do not know Rodri as I do, Eivor. You do not know what a slippery, lying shit he can be. Enough talk of killing. I need a moment of calm. You need mead. No, Ivar. True calm. A walk in the woods to clear the air. Or... fishing. Would you go fishing with me? Fishing, huh? Looking for a warm puddle to dangle your worm in? I saw a small pond nearby. Will you come? We can all take a moment to allow our blood to cool. It's just up here. I have no fondness for fishing. Where is the sport in it? There's no chance the fish will kill me. Here will be good. Let's fish for eel. Dale have relishes nettle soup cooked with eels fresh from the water. I will not fish. You go ahead. Hooked! Bring it to shore! That's enough for now. Bishop Dalev will be pleased. Let's go tell Ivar about our catch. That took longer than clearing this village. We caught some eel for a feast. The bishop should be pleased. The simple fellow comes now. Ah. A strange way to celebrate victory. But then again, our Christ was a fisher of souls, was he not? Bishop, greetings. We've the makings for a delicious soup. I'm grateful, Chael Bert, but my heart is heavy. So many homes burnt. We'll be years rebuilding. You should have seen Chael Bert fight. He will be an elderman with sack and guts, fearsome and raw. I should rather be fair and just, but I take the compliment. I have sent word to the Britons. I pray King Rodri will again be open to peace, in spite of his brother's murder. It worked in our favor. Look where we landed. Britons begging for mercy like whiny pups. We set the village ablaze, yes. But peace is not guaranteed. And it will take another sort of skill to win it. Restraint. Our next steps are critical, my lords. And after what happened in Quatford, it is clear to me that Ivar should lay low. Lay low? After all I have done here, you tell me to dunk my head? The good bishop is right, Ivar. You have a warrior's heart, not a peacemaker's. Fuck you, wolf kissed. I know Rodri, and I know the kind of tricks he will pull. That is me warning you. If you hear me farting, that is my welcome to the bastard! You bruised his pride, Eivor. If you have some balm for it, by all means, share it. His pride makes him difficult, and his anger makes him hasty. But he is not without honest feeling. I will hunt him a great boar, I think. And together we'll roast it over a fire and tell tales of war. That should please him. Bishop, we must prepare for Rodri's arrival. Rally our men and set up a camp just here. Where in Hellheimer has Tailbat gone to? Someone here must know. Ivar, it is done. Peace, eh? And now everyone is shitting themselves with happiness. 
If not happiness, then relief. Have you seen Chelbat? I want to pass on the good news. He asked me to go hunting earlier, but I am in no such mood. <laughs> what happened here? This doesn't look good. Jailbat's bow... dropped. Jailbat! Tears of Freya! Jailbat, uh, 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 you live! I... I uh, Stay quiet. You're badly hurt. A dragon on the hilt. Guards the Briton crest. Keep breathing, boy. Oh, you haven't got long. I will take you back to say your goodbyes. I can get you to the others. I'll go easy. Hey. Hey, hey. I... Hush. Hush, Jelbat. We'll soon be among friends. Some help here! Eva! Down up! By the hand of Thor! Is that the other? What's wrong with you? Eivor! What happened? No! What's wrong with you? No! You foolish boy! What did you do? I found him deep in a cave beset by wolves. Eva. Easy, boy! Easy. E... Ivar... Get me an axe, right fucking now! Ivar... He's gone. An axe! His god will take him as he is. Axe or not. Go to your god, boy. And I will sing for you in Valhalla. This was no wolf. Tell me what happened. We were fools. An Aetherling was entrusted to us in time of war. We did not protect him. I taught him to protect himself! Not well enough. This was stuck in his chest. A Briton's dagger. Rodri! But why? You murdered his brother. Did you think he would let that lie so easily? I told you he was a trickster! Peace was never his goal. He takes blood for blood. Bishop Deolav, over here. The walls of his fortress will not protect him. I will sheath this dagger into his lungs. We must move fast then. Attack before Rodri can revel in his trick. No mercy this time, Wolf Kissed. You spared that wet turd Leofrith. We will not spare Rodri. I swear. Lord above, what's happened? Chaelbert! Murdered. May the Lord who frees you from sin save you and raise you up. Send the boy's body to his father. He will want the Christian burial. Lady Angharat said Rotary is holed up in Kausto Castle. That may have been a lie or a tiny slip. Either way, we should find out. There is a spot near the fortress to set up camp. We will scout it together. A good plan. We go now. Fine. And remember, leave Rotary to me. What has happened? How are you holding up, Bishop? I am gutted by this loss. Cherubert would have made a good elderman, and one day a fine king, a king forged by Viking battle wisdom and Christian compassion. A formidable man he would have been. I should have seen this coming. I should have known he would come for the weakest of us. You opened a bloody wound when you killed Rodri's brother. 
Anything worth doing must be paid for in blood. In Quartford, you told me Rotary gave you that scar on your face. Is it a story worth telling? If not worth telling, it is worth remembering. Years ago, I was headed back from the Western Isle. Ah, they have got fighters there. I had taken a bit of a beating. Put me in a surly mood. I wanted blood and silver, nothing more. So, me and my Drangir, sailing along the coast of Camry, see a nice spot for landing, covered in mist. We drag our ships ashore. Just then, a cry came from atop a hillock. The troll cursed Britons. The fog clears a bit. And there they are, all lined up. The biggest one calls out. I am Rodri, king of this land. That means shit to me. I scream back. I give my boys a nod. And we raise up our axes and charge before they take a breath. We have the numbers. But the Britons are clever. It's marshland. The bog catches our boots, sucks us to a standstill. One by one, Rodri cuts us to bits. He gets to me, lays his blade at my cheek, and gives me this nick. Leave this land and give your people fair warning, he says. Tell them King Rodri gave you that cut. Hen shit, I say. Rodri laughs and lets me go. Quite a story, Ivar. Son of Ragnar, killer of kings, conqueror of England and the Western Isle. You have lived the saga worth ten. That I have. <gasps> that sweat-sopped slug is just beyond those walls. May only be defeated by a dragon. My itching ass. He'll meet one all right. Send a message to your men. We can build a camp here and lay plans for a surprise attack. I am ready. What in the name of Loki have you done? Called in the dragon to help me slay Rodri. Now what say you, Wolfkist? Are you ready for war? Rally the men, Ivar. Let's have at it. It is a good day to die. The gate looks to be well defended. My men are loading a cart with cauldrons of oil. We will blast right through that fucking gate. Ragnarsson, how is it you come in force when our peace has been concluded? Do not mock us, whore son. You splattered blood on our peace with the butchery of young Chalbert. Speak what nonsense you please, Dane. If you mean war, our defenses are sure. Gaze upon my face, King of Crow Food, and meet the dragon that will devour you. I see a spent old man. Playing at serpents. Enough talking, Ivar. Bring the oil cart and set the fires! When I am done with Rotary, I will tear the fat from his shanks and use it to fry our bread. Boys, we will light it up in front of the gate. You're mine. Get the wagon to the gate. They've sent soldiers to stop our car. I will wash the castle wall with Rotary blood.
The keep is through there. Hey, come here a moment. Ivar the Boneless. Huh. You make a pitiful dragon. <laughs> old oak he's not dead no i have something else planned spectacle remember he's nothing now but a sad sack of flesh kill him and be done with it oh no this will be good i have something specific in mind a place and a method come All right, let's get this over with. Load this lump of lard onto your horse and we will go. Take care, he stays alive. Eivor, do not forget that load of rotten flesh called Rodri. Where are we going? An overlook I found while scouting. A view, one fit for a dying king. There's no need for spectacle, Ivar. Let the man die with honor. No, no, no. He must die with style. Dear King, stay with us. You must not miss what is coming. I killed King Ella, King Osbard, King Edmund, and now King Rodri. Who else can claim such a string of victories? Just finish. It is not my place to interfere in this feud. Valhalla must look such a sight. Does he breathe still? Barely. Rodri, are you listening? For years I wore this scar with shame. Nicked by a Briton and left alive. I tried to cover it with a beard, a cloak. But as your fame grew, I began to beam with pride. A king gave me this mark. What say you to this, Rodri? Huh? Speak up, you old bag of sweat and grease.
Here we are. Bring him close. up there to the top and keep him breathing finish this quickly Ivar see here a hungry blade now comes the dragon to feed on his favorite meal the blood eagle Ivar, is this? The birth of a blood eagle is a sight to behold, my friend. First, I slice the length of your spine. <laughs> that is a Norseman. The true essence of old heroes. The Blood Eagle has no true meaning for Ivar. He is doing it simply to take pleasure in suffering. Now, I pull back the flesh. The method will always outlive the meaning. Few in time will care why this man died. But the how, that is a song for the ages. <gasps> Fog between good and evil grows thick over time, but glory never fades. There is nothing glorious here. Life is not pretty. It is a bloody fight. Out come lungs, and we spread them like wings. All of mercy, I can see him now. I have seen enough. We are not finished, Eivor. This saga we have written together, it needs an ending. Here and now. It is ended, Eivor. I'm done with this place. A fight to the death, you and me. If I win, I am the greatest Vikinger who ever lived. If I lose, what a tale you have to tell. You are battle drunk, Ivar. Goodbye. Poor Chelbert. He barely said a word. When? I pushed that dragon dagger into his heart. No. Just a soft little squeal. Then, nothing. You sick, cursed fuck out! Things a man must do, the trials one must face, the friends one must betray. To achieve one's destiny, and become king killer forevermore. Traitor! Jailbird was like a son to me! Yes! Yes! So fight me, Wolfkiss, to a glorious death! This is the life, Eivor! To fight high above the world! Valhalla awaits! Mm. I feel great. You were too reckless, Eivor! A storm of mindless chaos! Mindless! Watch out! Bleed like jailbirds! <laughs> ah, in my younger days, you would be dead by now. <laughs> Like 
Jailbert! Ha! You're not so smart! Do not shame me, Eivor! Finish me well! Bleed like Jailbert! Feel stronger already. Bleed like silver. <sighs> My long road ends. The Valkyries approach. My axe, Eivor. Hand me my weapon. Odin may have use for you, but this is more than you deserve. Uh, do not shame him. Carry the body to Quadford. We will say our goodbyes there. And send a message to Uber. Tell him his brother is dead. Day clouds our victory. Bishop. Uber. Dead at the hands of a Briton. I cannot imagine the shame my brother felt in his final hour. Were it not for this peace. I killed him. You? After peace was made, Eva murdered Jailbelt and pimped the crime on Rotary to get another swing at him. How do you come to know this? He told me himself. I am always one who desires the truth, Eivor. But this... This is a hard thing to hear. Did he die well? Death at my hand was his final aim. He wanted the glory of a bloody end. An end you did not deny him. With Ivar gone, peace and quiet are now possible. That is something. I will console myself for the thought that we will meet again in Valhalla. Axe in hand. You will. For good or ill, he lived life by his own rules. What man can say better? He lived his life at cross purposes. I often found him strange and his actions puzzling. But not all men are meant to be understood. He needs a proper farewell. I will prepare a ship for his funeral pyre. Bishop, send word to Lady Angharad. Say that her husband died by treachery, and that Ivar has paid the price for it. As soon as I am able. Have you heard from King Chaelwulf? I cannot imagine his grief. He is felled by it. Still, he makes plans for this shire. I am to be Elderman here. Therefore, Shiropshire declares herself your friend and ally, and will remain so for the length of my days. I'm grateful, Bishop. God go with you, Eivor, wherever you may lead.
me your time in Valhalla be glorious. Roar bring of battle song. The boneless one sails into a singing glory on a flaming water steed. Wind across the water. The battle maidens beat their wings to carry a king to Odin's hall of corpses. Ivar gone. Shirapshire an ally. I should confer with Randvi. Good to see you. We are allied with Shirapshire, but at a grievous cost. Young Chelbet was killed? Yes, my scouts told me. Such a tragic death for so dubious a gain. I hope you paid his killers back in kind. Justice was done. Chelbet will be remembered. He was good company in the short time he was with us. He was. 